Hey guys, what is up? Today I'll be showing how you can make uh, fl or iPhone apps in Flash CS5. And I'm trying to find my example. And it's right here. Uh, this is the drawing game I'll be showing you how to make. And it starts out with a little preloader, or not preloader, but a little menu. Press start. And you won't be able to draw on the screen. Pick your color. Draw. And then this button will clear it all out, and you can't draw unless you pick another color. Now, um, I'm just going to give you the simple one where there's only like one color or two colors. And you basically just takes that and keeps adding it on. That's what I did here. So, yeah. So, open up um, Flash and create an iPhone OS. This has to be Flash AS5 because um, of the fact that you need uh, the iPhone format. So, make I'm uh, making my stick make whatever color you want, but just remember you have to draw on it, and uh, we'll go ahead and this will be in the description, but go ahead and copy this entire um, code. The code is uh, the code that makes the actual thing work. So just paste the code. And then press control and enter. And here's a drawing program button. It lets your it draws all accesses and stuff. So let's go ahead and go to actions. Like this. So um, the shape equals new shape. That's just basically the mouse um, the mouse event, which is when you press down and then you draw the shape so yeah but this is the thing we're gonna really worry about it's the um, my shape dot graphics dot line style dot um one you know the rest okay so this basically controls how big the uh, line is so we're gonna click six and test it Let's see all right and you can do I'm gonna go ahead and go higher I'm going to go to 10. And I'm actually going to go to 3. Actually, I'm going to go to 20 just to test it, but I'm probably going to lower it. You can do whatever thickness of line you want. Yeah, I'm going to go to go to about 8. Because now I'm going to go to 16. But this shouldn't be all about this. So let's try it. Yeah, that's good. All right, now this color right here is the the color of the actual print thing. Um, like the um, can't get my open. The color of the t uh, see how the uh, the color of the line you make. So see how this one, it's now red because that is the red code. So we're going to exit there and go back to our timeline. Now, if you go to your Google, or not Google, go to the description, and let me find it. It is this one right here. This is a button code calculator, and we're going to name a button. We're going to name it uh, black, function type, change, color, and we're going to click release, create, and copy the clipboard. No, that's just an easy way instead of writing a button code. But we're going to, um, on the second line, we're going to space this down. And also space down the my shape. Alright, so, let's actually go this. Okay, go ahead and paste your the button code. Now, this is basically, we're going to put these this code there. So... Control X just to cut or cut it, and then Control V. Now this code is for um, red, and we want it to black to be for black. So go to your code or your color cal callus or yeah color callus, and select black, and then just copy this code up here. Okay. Um, and then paste it. it. Needs to go over here, and then um subtract this. 
you need the uh, zero x so don't um, erase that okay now we have to create a shape called black Okay, so we're going to make a shape called black. So I'm going to go into my rectangle primitive. Make it four. Let's see. That'll be good. For the middle and the edge, I'm going to make it black. So I'm going to go ahead and first pull. Thing like this. Release and then convert it to a symbol. Naming it black and then OK and then the instance name is black. Alright, so now right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just make another one and call it blue. Yeah. And a quick little cheat for this, or not cheat, just double click and set up the right shape and just copy this. And then go back and paint colors. So I'm gonna make three different colors. Just do black, uh, red, or black, blue, and yellow. And I'll do black, blue, and green. So blue, and this one I'm gonna do green. So convert this. Okay, convert to symbol, and then. Blue, also the symbol and green. Now get you an instance name of green and blue. Oh, go ahead and see how much time I have recorded. Uh, I'll go some more. Okay, so we already gave one, so this one actually works by now, but we have to give ones. The, able, the ability to be clicked and then that color to be working. So, to do that, we're going to go to actions again. And this is how you add multiple ones. But copy your um, black code. Control C it or copy it. And paste it. Oops. Let me let's get down a couple lines. Paste it. And we're going to name this one blue. And then ch ch put change color one change color one and then now we have to uh, get a color Kelly press it and then go to the blue copy your code paste it right here okay so the blue one should work and now we're gonna go ahead and copy the blue one Just show you. I'm not going to show you that works. I'm going to do the green one first. Okay, so we're going to paste that and then green two, two, uh, all right, and then the color color. Copy, paste, and there you go. So now it should work. So, okay, now when you click on one, it shouldn't be able to work at first, but when you click on one, it should be able to work. Click on another one, it's now blue, green one, it's now green. Uh, color with buttons. Yep, so there you go. Now we're going to show you how to clear the entire stage. So, we're going to go back into codes, and I'm going to actually um, do dash dash and then colors. Oops. Just so I can recognize it. I'll just put. Yeah, color. 
well. Police. Police. So now you're gonna go. I'm gonna do another recognize thing and then put clear. Um, yeah, I'll just do clear table. And then I'm gonna copy these. Paste it, and then put a uh, clear. I'll put clear all, and put three, three. Now, right here, you're gonna wanna um instead of this little graphics.line style like that we're gonna do my shape dot graphics dot and erase all the rest and put clear bracket bracket and then that thing so there you go for that and now I just have to make the button uh, go ahead and just do a big little example it's a huge button and then I'm gonna no never mind. Cut. Get the black and then I'm just gonna do a little oh crap, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna convert it to a symbol and then I'm gonna edit it. Make a symbol and then clear. I'm gonna double click into it. And then I'm going to draw on it. Break it apart. Now I'm going to draw on it. Just a little simple thing just for demonstration purposes. <laughs> Obviously, you'd want to take more time on it whatever now for your instance name I gave it an instance name of clear all so that's what it needs to be now press enter and select your color do what you want la 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 da, 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 da. whatever now press it and it clears the stage and you can't do anything else so yes now, um, actually go back into your actions of your clear and copy one of the Now, click on your clip and drag it over one. And for this one, you're gonna, um, you can add what you want, but I'm just gonna add, and it's just gonna be a, um, I'm not gonna put words in or anything. I'm just gonna convert it to school and start and uh, paste that. But first, you gotta give it a stop command. Oops. Stop. And then on the uh, my shape thing, delete that and just put go to and stop. Parenthesis, parenthesis, that thingy. But in the middle of the parentheses, you're gonna want to put two, because that's what your thing begins on. And I'm gonna put start draw as the instance name. And put four and then and four. Ah. All right, then. Okay. No, nothing wrong with it. Give this an instance name of start draw. The heck, oops. Okay, now when I press control enter, I have to see. Yeah, that's what I thought. I actually already gave the uh, four, so I'm just gonna put like a random number. I think 34. 
now I'm pressing control too. Really? What is the same? Okay, fine. We'll go to this one and then go down to 44. Oh, okay, sorry. We're gonna start start draw S for session or something. And then put an S over here. Now let's press control two. Alright, now pressing the button, then you're put in the stage. And then you can draw whatever you want. There you go. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna draw in here real quick and just put like part of draw on a touchpad thing. Okay. All right, and then we'll save it. Desktop, make a new folder, call it video, and then, oops, look at that, and then, um, we'll just put inside there and just say, drawing, and then save. So now it should be done. Um, I'm going to actually stop it now, and I'll be showing you how to do the rest in the next video.